Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In our today's video, I'll be talking about scope, which is a uh, Hadoop related interview question. In scope, uh, in one of the interview, interview ask about how to secure the password when we are using the scope. As we know, scope is the part of Hadoop ecosystem, which is mainly useful to take the data from RDBMS to the HFS file system and vice versa and while making the connection with the RDMAPS databases we need to put the password for the RDMAPS database over there then and only then it can make the connection and the question is quite obvious that uh, whenever we are putting the password the password should be encrypted or it should not be visible to the other people who is not having the access so there are different approach uh, through which we can use the password while writing the command in the scope. Actually there are three ways through which uh, we can do it. The first way is by using the hyphen password option. So in this option what is happening here with the scope command itself we can mention the password so if you observe this scoop command carefully so scoop is a utility which is taking the import and first of all it is taking the connection making the connection with the net as which is a database and this is a username hyphen hyphen username here is hyphen hyphen username we are mentioning it as a test user and then it is using the another parameter as hyphen hyphen password and star is the password actual password now what is happening here it is importing the table orders from the net as and we are mentioning the password here itself so this is one of the approach what we can do with the help of scope but uh, in the real-time production environment you will not find this kind of approach because here the password is visible to the other people as well and it is also coming in the server history so we have the option and other options which are available through which we can use the password the second option is by using the parameter hyphen hyphen p what will happen with this hyphen hyphen p parameter while we are importing the data or exporting the data here in this case uh, it will prompt the password so uh, wherever we are firing this command it will ask us and it will prompt us the password so we need to mention the password over there and if the password is getting matched with the database then then and only then it will go for the next process but what has happened if we have a jobs scoop job which is configured in cron tab or maybe in using then again we cannot provide the password every time right uh, and cron tab which is uh, a scheduler and whatever the timing we are mentioning over there it will run from there itself so we need a hard coded password which is available on the server so on that particular time the scoop job will run and it will pick up the password from that location so in most of the environment you will find this third option which is called password file option this is the option which you can do in the production environment what we can do first of all we need to create one password file so in this case we are creating the password file slash etc slash groups slash com slash password this is the location actually it's uh, hjps location we can create our password file in local file system as well as in HDFS file system. But how do uh, it is always recommend to create your password file in the HDFS location so that it will be accessible to all the users and it will not be locally available. By default, whenever we are running the scoop job, it will check the location for HDFS only. But if you want to put your uh, file password file in the local file system then we need to use the parameter as file column so here you can see 
the password file is available in slash etc which is a HTTPS file location and if you want to use a local file system you can use like file colon slash slash and so first of all I will just there are three steps over here the first step where we have created the file echo hyphen n the hyphen n is really important because if you are not mentioning this parameter then it will take the new line along with that which will not uh, you know match the password so we need to use the echo hyphen n if you use the vi editor or any other editor in that case if you check the number of word in the password file you will find always one character will be higher so it will not match with the database of password so this is a way echo hyphen n password and here we are creating one password file then we are providing the required privileges to that password file and the last thing is we are using the scoop import command here the password file hyphen hyphen password file option we are using and after that we are providing the password file location which is the HTTPS file location okay so these are the three ways where we can mention our password with the scoop command but third one is really important which is called password file option and that is recommended while work working on the production environment thank you so much if you have any queries you can comment please like and subscribe this channel to know more about the hadoop and oracle database technology see you again with the next video bye bye